So this is Murphy's mutant. Murphy is a, a totally deformed child that was born in Basra in Iraq, in southern Iraq, where a lot of depleted uranium was shot during the war. And Murphy has seven legs and he's half male, half female. A lot of children get born there deformed and mutated b because the radioactivity causes all of this. And this is Murphy and his mother. And the women don't ask usually anymore if, if it's a boy or girl, they just ask if it's normal or not. And then even when a child is born normal, they often get cancer with five. And all these deformities, they happen because of destroyed and changed DNA in the person. And some kids have no eyes, others no legs. And Murphy has seven legs. This is Murphy at school with all the other children. And some of them, you can see, they have no legs, no arms. And then suddenly the Third World War happens and all the world blows itself up. And Murphy is really shocked. And Murphy gets thrown out into the universe. And most people burn, but Murphy has an atomic immune shield because he is so mutated that radioactivity can't harm him anymore. And he gets thrown out into the universe again. The Big Ben, the Eiffel Tower, the Brooklyn Bridge, everything is thrown around, just like Murphy. After he wakes up with his shield still on, his radioactivity immune shield, but everything is smoking and all the dead people lie around. And then he slowly comes back to consciousness. And then he looks around and he just sees all the debris and the destruction from the war. And he's looking out into the universe. And then he starts walking because he tries to find other, other survivors and he says, okay, I have to explore this country again. And he's walking around in this after war zone and then some Martians see him and they realize that he's atomic immune because he was so mutated. And they can also see that he's really, really devastated and he's sweating and he's lonely and and they feel really sorry for him, and so they decide that they give him um, a shadow so that he's not so lonely anymore. And one morning, Murphy wakes up and he has a shadow as his company. And he feels much happier, and he's walking around with a shadow, and things seem to get a little bit brighter. But then, after the first corner, his shadow decides to walk into a different direction. And Murphy wants to go into another direction, and so this is the next chapter of Murphy the Mutant. So this is the story of Murphy the Mutant and his shadow. And here they walk in two different directions and Murphy's shadow thinks about why they are atomic immune. He knows that their DNA has changed. And then because Murphy wants the shadow to walk in the same direction, they face each other. And they both have in their mind the past and how their cities got bombed or how a reactor catastrophe happened that poisoned them both. And then they have this big fight because they want to go into different directions. And they fight more and more, and they can't stop fighting until they're both really devastated and injured, and they lie down. And Murphy's shadow asks Murphy, who are we? And Murphy doesn't know anymore who he is. And so they stand in the rain, and they can't go anywhere because they're both fighting, and they both want to go into different directions. And they can't move. They're still stuck on the same spot, even a day later. 
And then finally they get a little bit in touch with each other and they realize that they somehow have to exchange themselves. And so they start getting closer in touch and Murphy, Shadow, gives Murphy some information about the atomic immune survivors and Murphy understands now why he is a mutant and why he survived. And he remembers his childhood with all the other children with deformities. They talk more about things they like to do and so they get closer and closer. And suddenly they realize that they're better off together and so they promise each other never to leave each other again. And so they walk on into the desert. And then they find a river and they have a swim. They're very happy now. But suddenly they see this big fish appear and the fish has only one eye. And Murphy remembers also from Fukushima how a year after the reactor catastrophe all these fish mutated around in the sea. And then a two-mouthed trout appears and Murphy's shadow gets really scared and runs off as fast as he can. Murphy catches up with his shadow and next to them is a mutated beetle. And then they see rabbits with no ears and they realize that they're all mutations which survived now. And finally they see a giant, giant goldfish and Murphy is so scared so he shits himself. Then they come past a butterfly with distorted wings. And here they start talking with a butterfly. They become friends with the butterfly. And they decide to take the butterfly on their back because he can't fly anymore. And they walk through an area where there are also lots of distorted plants, deformed plants. They even find a two-headed turtle and they gather together. And they also meet a three-eyed frog. And they all rest a night at a lake. The next morning they start telling each other how they all survived. And Murphy and his shadow, they realize that they're all atomic immune mutants. Suddenly even another Murphy shows up. And Murphy is really surprised and perplexed and forgets about the other mutants and walks off with the new Murphy. He even forgets about his shadow and they have a lot of fun, the new Murphy and Murphy. But suddenly the new Murphy decides he leaves again and Murphy is very hurt and he lies on the ground and his shadow asks Murphy, where are we? But Murphy doesn't know anymore where he is because he followed this other Murphy for such a long time. So Murphy just wants to kill the other Murphy, but he's already walked away. The shadow is back and Murphy misses the other Murphy. But he walks on into the desert because he has the shadow back. And then suddenly he sees a spaceship and on the spaceship 1969 is written. And the captain introduces himself to Murphy as Major Tom. And Major Tom actually, he survived the crash of his spaceship because the Martians rescued him. And they all have a little camp at night near the spaceship and they talk. And then Major Tom tells Murphy the story how he saw all the explosions on Earth when the atomic war happened. And then they fall asleep. And the next morning Major Tom says, come on Murphy, I want to show you something in the spaceship. And so Murphy enters the spaceship together with Major Tom and he shows Murphy a map of the whole Earth with all the population of atomic immune mutant Murphys. And these are all the areas on the planet where all the depleted uranium was shot and reactor catastrophes happened before the World War III, which Murphy survived. And then he also shows Murphy a map of the nuclear past, how it all developed in the different countries where the bombs were shot and where all the Murphys could be now, all the survivors. 
Major Tom zooms into one of these places with a lot of Murphys, and Murphy can see that all the Murphys really fight with their shadows. And so he starts laughing because he can't believe that all these Murphys have so much problems with their shadows. And he laughs so much that the Martians think he might laugh himself to death. And so they give him a giant injection of Valium. And so Murphy falls asleep and the Martians decide that they fly now to find more Murphys. Because there must be so many survivors. And so they take off and on board is also the calf with five legs, the butterfly and the two-headed turtle. And so they fly into the night. And the next day they land on a place with a lot of Murphys. And the Murphys come to greet the spaceship. And when they climb out, the Murphys also tell the story how all this depleted uranium was shot, which made them in the end ap atomic immune because they changed the DNA and so they could survive the Third World War, just like Murphy. They want to walk off with the Murphys, but suddenly Major Tom gets really sick and throws up blood. And one of the Martians realizes that he's not a mutant, that he's very affected by the um, radioactivity. And so they have to drag him back into the spaceship and Murphy also leaves with Major Tom and the Martians. And in the spaceship, Major Tom feels a little better, so he survives, he's not quite the same. And the Martians look down to Earth and they see in the microscope that a little dinosaur gets born in the new country of the Murphys. But they decide to leave with Murphy and Major Tom.